Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna find out what they thought of your first date, okay? Um, I'm just like really pumped today. I don't know, have you ever just had that, that day where like you wake up and you're like bah humbug and then you like stir around, get a shower and you're like, dude, I can freaking conquer anything. That's how I feel, that's how I feel today. So we're gonna do four piles and we're gonna find out what they thought of your first date, okay? So the first pile, a thank you. A thank you. That's your card. A thank you. And when I threw it, I was like, why did I get that they wanted to send you a thank you note? Like a thank you letter. Okay, we have vacation pile two. Pile three is grounding. Pile four, your option is illumination. Ooh, fancy. Guys, I'm just having such an amazing day. I hope you are as well. Are, are you in love with love? Like, I totally am. I set the intentions today for this reading to be all about giving those who have put themselves out there for divine love for you to get the answers that you need. Like, you risked it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you risked it all. You put yourself out there. You put your heart on the line. Okay, you went on a date with Mr. and Mrs. Sexy. And either you got rejected they're like not texting you or maybe they waited like way too long to call you. I don't know. But but point is, this is going to help you remind you that you are the poo and this person's just madly in love with you. And they're so intimidated by their feelings for you that they've ghosted you. They're just they're just so in love. <laughs> they did like it was instantaneous, guys. It was instantaneous. They fell in love at like first sight and it's just amazing cuz duh. Why wouldn't they fall in love? You're my viewer. Uh -huh. Like you are amazeballs. So obviously they're in love with you. Let's start with pile one. I uh, thank you. Holy Spirit, tune me into pile one, please. What did their date think of the first instance of, of dating them? I'm hearing a callback. A callback? You're waiting on a callback? Mm-hmm. Guys, I'm kind of hearing this person's really busy. They, they really are busy. They don't, okay. This is someone who is like a business owner or they have like a lot going on. So if like you're waiting by the phone, don't. Don't wait by the phone for this one. Don't. Their name could start with the letter A. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Don't guys, don't. Speak in truth, ta-da. Do not get it twisted. This person does like you. But guys, they're like a business owner or something. They have like a lot to do, okay? We have the base chakra and then truth right under it. Listen, listen. Truth twice, ace of swords, truth card, base chakra, root chakra. This person's like really into their business or into like getting something, getting career focused right now. I think they've already been career focused is what I'm hearing. Spirit, can you please tell me more about pile one's person? Another one. We have the magician here. You guys, you can't make this up. Pile one, 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 one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. That is some good luck, okay? That is good luck. Dude, when you get three ones in a row and you're reading. <gasps> is this the one? Holy shit. Is this like the one, guys? Let me see. Let me see. Tune in. Nine is so I see you guys so in your head like bro get over get over the whole like waiting on the waiting for the phone I'm, I'm almost like seeing this this bed and then I'm imagining in my mind's eye a nightstand with a cell phone on it Do they call yet? No, babe. No No, not yet Hmm You're aware of something what is this? Aware of something. Nine of swords. It's got you up at night. You're aware of something. What is it? Two of swords. Yeah, it's got you up at night. You're so hella confused. The devil. What's the devil? You need illumination on... So okay, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. You guys think that this person has a third party. We got the three cups with the sun and the hangman. What I'm getting is you need illumination on this like stuck feeling. Like, wait, wait, so 
Do you think they're really interested, Jenna? Or do you think that there's someone else? Hunty. Hunty. You are the poo. Okay, what you need to start telling yourself is, duh, they like me. Oh my God, duh. Duh, they want you. Freaking duh, you blew their mind. They think you're the cutest thing on the entire planet. Freaking duh. Freaking duh, pile one. I mean, you do not get three ones in a row without them also feeling it, okay? But you guys need, it's like, oh man, I don't like it. You guys are in your head way too much. Like, get the fuck out of your head. Get the fuck out of your head, okay? This, this three of cups bullshit. Get the fuck out of your head. Get, you guys, you are the, you're the literal poo. I mean, no, no, that sounded really bad. You are the poo, okay? Here's what you do. You tell yourself, of course they don't have a third party. A, a freaking course they don't. It's work, by the way. It's work, by the way. Their third party, it's work. Hands down. Pile one, that's what I'm getting. Um, so anyway, what am I getting here? I am getting that you are a little freaked that this person has already cheated or like, or like somebody from the past came back or something. Bae, tell yourself this person is addicted to you. Uh, you're literally all they think about all day long. Like literally, literally, even at work, all they think about is you. Tell me why I'm seeing a banana in my mind's eye. I have no idea. I don't know if that's phallic in nature or what, but I am literally seeing a banana. Like this person. Man, guys, guys, I don't know if this person like eats like a lunch at work and it's like, there is literally a banana in my mind's eye and I have no idea what this is. Why am I seeing a banana? Somebody tell me. Oh my God, you guys, you have to get out of your head. Cause I just heard the thank you note is from you. Almost like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Did, did you have a good, was it good for you? Babe, babe, babe. Fuck yes, it was good for them. Fuck yes, it was good for them. Babe, it was the friggin' best time they've ever had in their entire life. I think you need to get out of your head. But it's almost like you need illumination. You're aware of something. You're aware of something, and I think it's a third party, but it's work. It's work. Spirit, what is the third party here? Five of cups. Yeah, there is no third party. You see the three cups spilled? There is no third party in the way that you're thinking it. It's spilled, meaning I don't think this person is as like committed to somebody else as you think. One more. Are they single? Is this, is this person single and ready to mingle? With three ones? The emperor, oh damn. Ooh, honey, you look looking good. You looking like a snack. This person, dude, I shuffled and the emperor is still there. I swear to God, this is insane. I think some of you are like, dude, is this my person? Like, I think you met your match. That's why it's triggering you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Sucks for you. <laughs> you're getting triggered. Yep, you're getting triggered by this masculine who honestly is like a business owner. No joke. No joke. I don't know if they're a CEO. They're a fucking baddie, whoever this is. By the way, you need to get out of your head, babe. You're playing in the big leagues now. You just met your match. Get the freak out of your head. You're not supposed to be there in a divine connection. Get out of it. Get out of your head. One more. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, you can't make it up. They're, work they're working. Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Start telling yourself, oh yeah, that's right. They just work all the time. Because they're a multimillionaire. And like, you know, it is what it is. They're gonna buy me a Royals Royce one day. It is, you know, duh. Yes, it's work. Their third party is work. Spirit just confirmed that for you. It's work. I just heard boss. This person is definitely a boss. Uh-huh, queen of swords. Woo, chow. You have got it bad. Okay, okay. This emperor is not playing games. Ten of cups. Destiny on the bottom. Shit. You were meant to meet this person. You were meant to meet this person. Six of swords. Oh, hot damn. This is my jam. I don't know why that song is coming up, but it certainly is. We have the death card here. Transformation. This is my jam. Keep me something. I don't fuck. What is that? Keep me something until the a.m. Okay. Now I understand why that banana reference is here. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Wow. True. Girl, stop. Stop. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. You're the best they ever had. 
Oh, hot damn. This is my jam. Oh, we got the five of ones, five of... You guys, you guys, get the freak out of your head. Get the freak out of your head. We have five of cups, five of wands. I do not like this. Get the freak out of your head. This is my jam. I bet you this person sings at work about you. They're like secretly fantasizing and they're like, you know what, pile one. Dude, do you think that's my soulmate? Yeah, no, I do. I think it's your soulmate. Damn straight. Duh. They could be born on Halloween. I don't even know why that just came up. You maybe met this person on Halloween. I just got 1031 in my head. Definitely Scorpio energy coming through. Yeah, dude, dude, why did I not see this? This is a Scorp. Somebody here. It's a Capricorn, a Leo, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. You got 10, 10, two fives, 10, 10, 10. Plus all these ones. My God almighty. My God almighty. You guys, why do we have three fives though? This is, this is horrendous. What are you doing? Oh, hot damn. Is this person a UPS driver? Dude, I just saw a UPS driver in my mind's eye. This person does something at work. Like he, they're a driver, a delivery driver, something like that. But I'm also getting for some of you, they own their own business. This is my jam. Keep me going until the A is. A, are those the lyrics? Until the A M. Okay. Ooh, like a Chiquita banana. Oh, I, dude, if you slept with this person and you're wondering, like, was it good, babe? Babe, babe, get the fuck out of your head. Start telling yourself, like, dude, of course it was good. Of course, duh. Of course, of course, duh, of course. Divine messages and moving. I don't know why those two came out. Spirit, why did that come out? Intimacy, beach, beach. Just called it though. I just called that shit. I, oh, ooh, kiss, ooh, what? Ooh, what though? What is this? Kiss and intimacy. Guys, I freaking just called it with that banana. Called it, freaking called it. Listen, you guys are moving to the next level. Okay, divine messages. I'm hearing the divine is orchestrating this. Dude, a freaking cool day. Oh, damn. This is my jam. Oh, get it, girl. Yes, I'm so fucking proud of you guys. Oh, hey, one. Girl, you do it to me. Okay, let's get one more. What did this person think of the first date? I don't, did you, I don't think you slept with this person on the first date, but I, I am getting like, oh, it, it will be moving in that direction. Oh, damn. This is not jam. This person like dances at work is what I'm getting. Guys, in 13 minutes, I'm totally, happiness. You can't make this shit up. I was totally getting Scorpio vibes here. Happiness. Okay, okay. You make them incredibly fucking happy. This is my jam. Oh, you, you put a smile on this face, honey. On, on his face, I meant to say. I said this face. Kwame. <laughs> but anyway, no, really, honestly, this person's smiling all fucking day. I just heard, how did I manifest you? How did, how did I, how did I do this? This person is questioning, how did I do this? I heard, take me to church. I worship like a courage. Persevere. Because this person had courage to approach you. Oh, I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of them. Dude, I feel this person's heart chakra is, was a little blocked. It's a little blocked. Just a little teeny, teeny, tiny little bit, okay? It's a little blocked. You see him holding his heart there, <clears throat> among other things. Anyway, I am really getting that this person's heart chakra is a little blocked, okay? But they found the courage to persevere. And they will find the courage to persevere again because, oh, hot damn, this is their jam. Go look up 14, 14 or 13, 13. That could be really important. Guys, totally getting Scorpio vibes for this one. And I'm also getting, what am I getting? Oh, hot damn. This, this, guys, this person's turned on by you. Like, <clears throat> uh, ooh. It's something, it's something fierce. We have the three fives here, meaning the fifth chakra, the throat chakra. This is freaking it, honey, because this person's so terrified to talk to you. That's how you know, that's how you know. They're secretly like, you know, wanting your babies. What? Oh, dude, you can't make that shit up. You cannot, you cannot. Guys, 
I'm done. Spirit is coming through. Like this is freaking nutso. We have the page of wands, which is literally the messenger. Listen, this person wants to tell you something, but they're like, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's blocked. I can't. What do you want to say? The emperor. Holy shit. That they're working, guys. I told you. Person's a boss. Aries energy coming through. They're, they're, they're a boss. And it's like, I want to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm also bossing up too in my life. But I'm really trying to focus mainly on work right now. Uh-huh. Two of wands. The chair. Ooh, and they're coming in. They're, ooh, honey, they're coming in hot like that Chiquita banana. Ooh! This is so juicy. This is such a good reading. This was such a great idea. I need to do readings like this more often. Perhaps. Perhaps I will. Anyway, guys, this person's like madly in love with you, of course. Um, fucking of course. Because you're pile one and you're epic. So anyway, like, get the f out of your head. Get the f out of your head, okay? Because this person's reaching out very soon. Very soon. Chariot Cancer, Aries. Yeah, mainly Scorpio. I was getting Scorp. There's some sexy Scorp gracing this channel with their presence lately, and I'm all about it. It's really great. It's really great. Um, also a Pisces, too, and a Capricorn, and a Leo. I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about the Leo. <laughs> but the sexy squirm. Okay. 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 Guami. Guys, this was so fun. This is what... I freaking love you, and I think this person is, like, so happy. They're so happy to be around you. They're like, how did I freaking manifest that one? Like, how did I do this? I think they're seeing 11, 11 a lot, too. They're seeing synchronicities. Give me one on that. Um, they're seeing synchronicities, and I know you are, too, so... Oh, hot damn. Surprise visitor. <gasps> Told you they're reaching out. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Honestly, guys, I only put smiles on this... Um, I think this one. There's only like one smiley face, I think, in there. One or two. And there's hundreds, I think. I don't know. I haven't counted because that's stupid. Uh, but look, no, really. More attention. Surprise visitor. Ring, ring. Hey, it's your true love calling. Answer the phone, pile one. Answer the phone. The sexy scorp is on its way. I love you guys so much. This is so fun. I freaking loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. A comment down below if you want me to do more readings like this. I totally do. I totally do. I think it's amazing, and I'm so happy Spirit came through. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your reading file, too. Hi, guys. You chose the vacation card. Your presence is like a vacation. Um... I am hearing though that this person does not like to be burdened or bothered much at all. Um, I'm totally getting Virgo vibes. They could have a Virgo moon or Virgo rising or something. They don't like to be bothered by people like at all. Um, at, like at all. I feel like they're very much a hermit. Okay, that's coming through. Something about Virgo season, which I believe is next season. Um, listen, listen. Okay, this person sees your aura and they're like, fuck, this is nice. This is nice. This is like a treat. This is like a little, like a little oasis. Your vibes, okay? You've been working on your spiritual fitness. Big fan, big fan, guys. So proud of you. I'm like a proud mama bear right now. Holy Spirit, can you please tune me in? Pile two, can we please relay a message for pile two about what they need to know about this true love of theirs? Ooh. But you gotta go make things so complicated. I see the way you're acting like it's somebody else gets me frustrated. This person, I don't know, you could be like an Avril Lavigne baby or something. Like, you guys like listen to Avril a lot as kids or something. Or this person does. What did they do? Something, something, something. Cause I something and then something. Oh my god, eight of cups. Girl, did they walk away? It got me so complicated. Fuck. Nights like this, you you fall and you crawl. Ah, Ace of Cups to the Eight of Cups. Like, where'd the other cups go in between? It's almost like, do they ghost you? Oh, no, they didn't ghost you, right? No, no, no. What happened here? Spirit, what the fuck happened here? Eight of Wands in reverse. Am I taking that upright? What happened here? We fall and we cry to a pentacle. Nights like this. 
How do I do it? I don't know the fucking lyrics, guys. I don't know. All I know is her boobs are huge. Never noticed it until now. Anyway, they liked your, you know. They liked your um, lady lumps, okay? I heard they, they looked to see if you had a ring on it. They, like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, not on the first date. I'm assuming that you went on a date probably without a ring. But they, they like, they, I'm seeing someone, your person, look at your finger to make sure that you're not married. So if you wear rings on, like, your right hand, they're trying to make sure that you don't, it was like, wait, wait, shit. Oh, no. No. They're fine. <laughs> this person definitely wanted to make sure you were single. Nights like this, you, you fuck. Okay. What do they think? Guys, why is this person's energy so pulled away? Like, what's going on? Inquiring minds want it. Dude, I'm tired all of a sudden. Okay, in your person's energy, I'm fatigued. Okay, I'm fatigued. I don't like that denial. I think they denied you. I think they said, like, bye. <laughs> um, guys, but here's the thing. I'm tired. Nine of Pentacles, very independent, self-sufficient energy. And then you did not, I feel like this person backed away. But what I'm hearing is you have like really good boundaries, really good boundaries. And this person's a Virgo, so they need to recharge and shit, okay? But like not from you, your, your aura is like an oasis. It's like a heaven on earth. Pride. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yikes. What is pride? What is this? Pride, please, spirit. Confirm that. Four of swords. Bitch, you can't make it up. This looks like a breakup. This looks like somebody literally pulling away and they're like meditating, trying to get. Look at that. Look at that. Ace of swords. They need clarity. This person needs clarity. Like, their energy is so distant. Holy shit. Look at this. Ten of wands in reverse. What did I say? They do not see you as a burden at all. At all. Like everybody else in their life is burdening them, but not you. We fall and we crawl. I don't know why I'm getting that. Ten of pentacles. We fall and we crawl. Is that the, is that the lyric? And we get back up. Listen, um, your person is basically in love with your smile. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, yes. And I'm also getting your divine nature, but you're like so innocent. Oh my God, you're so innocent. Why am I getting lion and the lamb here? You're so innocent. Like there's such this, oh my God, it's so beautiful. You're like angelic. I'm seeing the color white. Like you're just so pure. You're pure like this lamb here. Oh my God. Dude, the way you smile, the way you smile. Oh, my heart, my heart. It's doing weird things, guys. This person's heart is doing weird things, okay? The Empress in the Page of Cups. Guys, okay, so the page is talking about a lot of innocence for me right now. Like, you're just so in innocent and divine feminine. Like, you're so feminine. Like, oh, my heart, my heart, my heart. Oh my God, my heart hurts. I need to really, like, ask Spirit why this is happening. This person is literally in fucking pain over you. Sorry to go from all sweet and, you know, gentle to, like, oh, but yeah. He was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. He wasn't good enough for her. Why? Why am I getting Avril Lavigne songs? I don't know. They love your innocence, your beauty, your charm, your charisma. But man, my heart hurts. Oh, my heart hurts. This person's in pain, literally in pain, in physical pain. And I think it's because you're giving them a heart chakra awakening. Guys, okay, so when you first like meet somebody, if they're not ready for heart, oh, oh my God. This person wasn't ready. This person wasn't ready. This person was not ready. I'm hearing, I do not know how to receive unconditional love. They're not ready. They're not ready. Mm-hmm. The moon. And then we have the five of pentacles, which tell me why. I'm getting the rose from Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Tell us all this time. I don't know why Spirit is shelling so many songs today, but I'm here for it. Anyway, this person is like, there's a lot of secrets you don't know. 
a lot of secrets you don't know right now. So first date, first of all, you were really flirty. They are all about it. Oh my God, the way you flirt is so great. Also the way you smile. This person either commented on your smile or like they're freaking mesmerized. Oh my Lord. Dimples, your cheeks, like, oh, I could just pinch them. They're so cute, fucking cute. This person loves your cheeks. I don't know, it's really kind of cute, actually. Guys, they went into their hermit shell, ace of wands. Do not think for one, don't even get it twisted. Don't even for one second think that this person is not seriously into you. The ace of wands and the ace of swords, babe. Babe, 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 babe. Here's the thing. Their heart chakra is blocked or something. If, if, yeah, it feels, it feels dirty. It feels, they're, they're ashamed and guilty or something. They have guilt about something. And so you came in with unconditional love and it's like, oh gosh. Yeah, they need to release it. Four of Pentacles in reverse. They need to release this whole like, I don't even love tuning into their energy. I think spirit broke you two up is what I'm getting with the five of pentacles on the moon because you don't know shit. You don't, I mean, not, nah, that was rude. You don't know shit about this person. Some shit about this person. I don't think you know anything about this person. I think they've kept it all secret. That's why I'm getting the Virgo card. I mean, in my mind's eye, I'm getting a hermit here. Um, you're just too pure. You're just too pure. They're coming through telling me like, you're just too pure. I can't, I, I, you're God's child. I'm not about to mess this up. Uh, this person literally is doing you a favor is what I'm getting. Acceptance, surrender. I think what you guys need to do and what spirit is asking you to do right now is accept that this has ended and that you can't change people. Guys, you can't change people. This person, uh, I'm getting, it was a great date. Okay. I'm, I'm not getting like bad vibes on the date. I'm just kidding. It was the after date part. That's like really weirding you out. You need to accept that this is surrender. This person surrendered this connection. I, I don't feel their energy. It's pulled back. Yeah. I mean, right under the four of swords is the five of pentacles. They literally ghosted you or something. This is especially your message. If you were just listening to Avril Lavigne or something. Yeah, guys, I'm so sorry I don't have better news. Um, let me get one more about, what did they think of the, the date? Four of cups. Oh, Lord Jesus. Discontent and boredom. Ace of wands. Thank you, Jesus. I was like, wait, what? Guys, I'm going to be completely real. When I saw that, I was like, oh, no. One of you is bored. But... It's not really that they were bored. It's that the contrast between these two energies is night and day difference. You got someone in the four right here, heart chakra, fourth chakra, really discontent, really bored within their self. They think that they're boring for you because this is how passionate you were at the date. This is them, bored, stagnant. Mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And this is you. Yeah, do you like that? Oh my God, that's amazing. I love the salmon. Do you want to go like bike riding after this? It's amazing. It's so beautiful outside, isn't it? Do you want to go outside? So what's your take on penguins? Right? And then here's them. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, penguins are nice. That's what they think. That's what they think the date went like. But they're totally into your smile and your cheeks. You guys came here for truth. I'd like to pride myself on truth, guys. So if you don't like the message, do not shoot the messenger. Ain't my problem. It's this person's problem, to be completely real with you. They see you guys as complete polar opposites, so they pulled their energy back. They're like, I'm too boring. I, this is not going to work. They're done. They're done. This person pulled back. They pulled back their energy. If you met them on vacation, they don't plan on seeing you ever again. They're done. They're done. They feel completely done. They feel out of their league. They feel out of their element. They really loved your smile. I feel like you healed this person. Like you, oh shit. Ace of cups, the lovers, you activated them. Judgment and the world. Holy shit balls. You guys came in as a divine essence for this person to get woke. Okay. You literally exploded their heart chakra. Ouch. Dude, there it is. Queen of Swords. You came in like telling truth like, hey, 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 
uh, delivering truth to this person, divine truth, and then they went into their shell. Hermit, you can't make it up. So what I'm getting is you guys came in to like activate and heal this person, but but I'm hearing it's it was a fling. It was a fling. It was like a one-time thing. I don't think this person's coming back, at least not right now. Let's get one blessing card. I'm not leaving it there for you. I'm not leaving it there. We're gonna get a blessing for pile two. Spirit, can you please tell me a blessing for pile two? Mindset shift. Like I said, um, you guys are soon going to be, um, shit, what did I say? Accepting that this is surrendered. I feel like that's gonna get a lot easier for you very soon. Divine messages. Yeah, I think spirit is going to help you through this because you came in. I'm not kidding. Oh my God, did you meet them in a medical facility? That's what I just heard, like a medical facility or some sort of like maybe, can maybe medical cannabis or something. I don't know, but medical came out too. That could be a blessing for you. Um, but divine message, you literally came in to give this person divine messages. That was, that was literally the whole date. That was what you were supposed to do to shift their mindset. Oh my God, but I don't know if this is, I don't, I don't see a second date for pile two. I do not. It, 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 no, no, I, I, I'm going to say absolutely not. This person is not interested in the second date. Sorry, guys. Don't shoot the messenger. You don't like it, go choose a different pile or go watch someone who would lie to you. All right, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Welcome to your reading pile three. Thanks for being here. Hello. I hope you're doing really well today. My heart is on fire for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I just feel so good today. Like, all I want to do, I have to go to the P.O. Box later, and I'm just, like, wanting to, to like, yell in the post office, like, hallelujah. You ever have one of those days where you don't know what's happening? You're like, it has to be the Holy Spirit? I'm going to tell you something, and then we're going to get to your reading, but I have to tell you this. Last night at about 2 a.m., I woke up praying in tongues which is not new for me. I do speak in tongues a lot of times, but not like this. This was like an overwhelming compulsion to like literally get out of bed and like completely surrender and, and understand like I'm not getting sleep tonight. So I laid there speaking in tongues, praying in tongues. I've never really done that. Like, like not, mm, well, I guess once or twice. Anyway, I did that. And now I'm just like a totally different person because it's the, it's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I think maybe because this is relevant to your reading. I'm not sure. But anyway, I feel like a totally different woman. You ever just have one of those days where you wake up and you're like, I came to Jesus. I had a come to Jesus moment last night. It was incredible. I was channeling the Holy Spirit. And so I really actually think that you guys might also be channels, um, channelers. So, so maybe that's why I'm telling you, um, because with grounding right off the bat, I feel like, um, you guys are actually really, really good at, um, taking care of your spiritual health. So maybe that's why I'm sharing. I don't know. Um, maybe that story is relevant. If something happened to you recently and you started like channeling some, uh. oh my God, 144 on the clock. First of all, so sorry. So rude. Second of all, when I burp, that is, that is literally spirit channeling. That is clearing energy. So that's a confirmation. Super embarrassing. I don't know if I should restart this. Nah, fuck it. Anyway, 144, you know, you know, if you know, 144,000, you know, you know, if you know, okay. So you just channeled light and I feel like you guys just removed a blockage that is coming through for someone. And I feel it's in your lower three chakras. Okay. So one message coming through from spirit is if you just like either burped along with me, congratulations. That was the best burp I've ever had in my life. Anyway, secondly, um, 144, I think you channel light codes. That might be your next phase. So if any of you right now are wanting to like take your business to the next level or do something in healing, that's going to like just blow people's mind. I'm telling you right now, it's like, it's like codes. Um, it just like transmuted energy. And I don't know why this is so important, but it, it, it is. So you guys, you're going to channel. Look, look, you can't make it up. Mother of swords, the, the queen of swords, who's the channel for me. She's a channeler. So I feel like, especially with the um, full moon in Aquarius, which is right now today, I think. Full moon in Aquarius? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Full moon in Aquarius. You guys are learning more, discovering more about your life purpose. And I feel like it really is channeling. Definitely for pile three. But anyway, let's get to your day. <laughs> let's get to your day. Also, Spirit is telling me that you need to veil more. Wear a veil or a hat. Um, it basically protects your crown chakra from like outside invaders giving you like thought bubbles of their own. Like, fuck that. 
fuck projections, okay? You don't need it and it's not good for your health. So like you need to stay in your own cocoon, okay? Your own little bubble. Um, so you really need to start veiling more. Okay, wear a veil. Cultures do it, religious cultures do it. It's amazing. Anyway, what was I saying? Dude, where'd I go for three minutes? Anyway, your life purpose is changing, I'm hearing. It's, well, it's not changing. It's always been the same life purpose, but the, the, the goals, the, um, uh, yeah, your goals are changing. You guys, this must be a very divine pile because you, you, your date must have been like really fun. I'm seeing nature. Did you guys go on a nature hike or something like a nature reserve or something? This person's a healer too, by the way. This person's like the one. Oh my God, yes, yes. I hit Hercules, Hercules, his thing. I'm hearing you guys are morphing into each other. You straight up look like this person. You're starting to look like this person. What I hear is, this is twin flame. It is, it is, but here's the thing. You're both star seeds. Here's the thing. I'm hearing that spirit is making them. It's not spirit doing it. It's just like the natural evolution of twin flames. Like they start to look like each other. Anyway, um, I needed that confirmation. I don't know. I've, I've been talking about twins for years now and I never really got the confirmation of that. I've seen people morph into each other. They, they, they start to like, they see each other in dreams. They kind of just start to look like each other, you know, and you guys look so similar. You're both healers. You're both leaders. This date could have even taken place in the astral plane. Fancy. This was not even here in the 3D. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. You guys are so divine. This person is like, Matt. oh my God. It's the one. Duh. It's the one. It's the one. It's the one. It's your twin flame. This is your twin flame. Pile three. Oh, duh. Yeah. It's your twin. It's your 20 poo. Anyway, that's what I want to say is like, hallelujah. Because I feel like you guys are coming into union in this lifetime. And right now, you need to discover this next phase of your life on your own individually. And that is, I do believe, channeling. Okay? Channeling for sure. Um, um, what am I getting? Discovering raw talent is what I just heard. The moon, guys, you are so, ooh, you are so psychic. Okay, super psychic. Super psychic. This is such a calming energy. Your person is so calm too. Like they are such a calm energy. Um, Spirit is also telling me more. Okay, so this isn't even about a date. This is about your person really, which is kind of cool. I'm here for it, but here's the thing. They're telling me that you need to start manifesting this person by remembering their good traits. So, Three of Cups. I was going to say, if something went south and some bullshit happened, what you need to do is remember who they are. Pull them out of the third party because I think some of you, pile three, third party, I think, me think some of you actually got, um, I don't know, some news maybe in a dream about a third party. This is for one or two of you. And if you did, Spirit is telling me to manifest this person back. It's just, a, it's just a frequency change. You need to be back in the alignment of, oh my God, they're so amazing. Aren't they adorable? Rose-colored glasses kind of shit, you know? You need to start saying that to yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing spirit ask me like, okay. So like, for instance, I'm seeing you sit across from me at the table and say things like, okay, so they're like this. And oh my God, they have such a... Dude, okay, listen, this is the, they have the cutest smile. Like, it is so insane. And like their eyes, oh my God, they looked at me and then like this happened. And like the way we met though, the way we met, it doesn't even make sense. And then this happened and then this happened. Like get really passionate about it. Start telling the universe this because you're going to tune into a frequency where it's like, you get back to that. Let the third party, whatever, like, dude, that's one reality. That's one reality. The one that you're going to, ooh, ooh, ooh. On the split, the Empress, number three. Do you hear what I'm saying? This is literally your divine counterpart. There's a third party and then there's the Empress. You tell me, you tell me that you're not gonna manifest this when you are the fucking Empress. Okay, listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, Spirit needs you to start manifesting this because it is your civic duty. That's what I just heard. It's your civic duty. Six of Wands. 
You guys are supposed to do something together. It's your civic duty, babe. Get to work. You're going to work with this person as well. Shit. This is much more than a date. This was an astral. Oh, you cannot. You cannot. Thank you, Jesus. Seven of Cups is literally my astral projection card. And there it is on the split, guys. You can't make it up. Hallelujah. I feel like I feel like this person goes skipping through the streets because of you. And I feel like you guys just sing all day. Like, sing to birds and shit. Like, I don't know what you would sing, but I'm hearing, the hills are alive. I don't know. There's something, like, so majestic about this connection. You want to manifest them back. Stop believing there's a third party. The way you stop believing there's a third party is tell yourself and the universe, uh, no. First of all, first of all, this person is the strongest motherfucker I've ever met in my life. Second of all, they're a healer. Second of all, super psychic, super psychic. So they would not be with a third party because that's ignorant, right? So tell yourself every day, I'm the chef. <laughs> like, duh. And if they don't like that, tough shit. They're going to go through ego death and tower moments to get to you liking them like that. Tough shit. I'm hearing the universe is using your third party, this, this third party of theirs, to get you and them together. This is strengthening the bond. This is literally, oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful reading I've ever channeled in my life. And it included a burp. Gosh, that's so great. You know, sometimes people just try to be so perfect, you know. And, and I think I want to tell you about that. I, you, just, you don't have to be perfect around this person. They're like, dude, you're perfect. Even when you're burping, you're so perfect. It could be a water sign because I just saw the water here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're just so perfect. So what, what you need to do, guys, guys, I'm hearing that spirit is going to bring this back together when you have decided on your fate. Yours. Not theirs so much. Yours. And your fate is to heal. Your fate is to be a healer. Your fate is a channel. Your fate is like whatever, whatever your life purpose is. <gasps> oh my God, that's why. Guys, for the first time I've ever done this, I'm trying to drink a gallon of water a day. I know it's, it's a lot actually. Anyway, I'm trying to do that. And I wrote the number three on my water. I don't know if you can, I don't know. You can see it maybe. I wrote the number three because this is my third one today. Thank you, Jesus. Here's the thing. Pile three. The Empress, third party. It all makes freaking sense. It all makes sense. Here's the thing though. That's why they showed me the water. They're like, hey, water, water, water. I don't know, maybe you guys need more water? Go to a water, a pond, a stream in order to cleanse your energy as well. Anyway, I'll get to the date in a second. I just need to channel all this information first for you. Um, dude, yeah, manifest. Manifest it. But but I'm hearing it's, it's inevitable. It is going to happen. The only thing you need to do right now is tell the universe that you are okay with what your path is, your life path, your life mission, your life purpose. Like, it's here. It's you. It's not them. It's you. When you're doing it, you're fully embodying that energy. That's when they come in. Because you'll be so happy and, like, in love with God, in love with people, in love with, like, roses and daisies and shit. You're going to love every day. Boom. They'll come back instantly. Because you'll feel like manifesting them then, you know? I don't know if right now you want to manifest them because you're supposed to be working on your purpose, not love so much. Five of pentacles, speaking of roses, beach, you can't make it up. On the split, guys, insane, in the membrane. Did this person give you flowers? <gasps> in it, you guys, I'm about to stroke out. This is the most beautiful reading I've ever done in my entire life. And I'm going to tell you right now, Pio 3, that this one's going to go super long. Super, super, super long. I'd like to plug my Patreon channel right now so you can please go subscribe over there. Help your girl out. Thank you. Thank you. What I am seeing though is you guys having astral flower exchange. Okay. <laughs> That is so cute that, that spirit won't even let me use the word sex. We're like, um, oh my God, no, this person's so romantic. They would use words like make love. Like this is, this is the type of person that's like, no, we made love. I am, I am in love. Oh my God. Did they have a brother? Tell them to call me. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm saving myself with Jesus.
Anyway, no, really though, guys, this person is like madly, 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 madly in love with you. And it's really only happening in the 5D right now, which is cool. I'm hearing spirits say like, it needs to stay there. It needs to stay there right now. Cause you are supposed to be working on your purpose. There's more. I can't even get to the date yet. I cannot. Okay, page of cups. I cannot even get to the date. I need to channel so much from spirit. Like they just, they're like, they're waiting for you to take the initiative in your life. Get shit handled. Get shit handled. Say it out loud. Claim it out loud. Start speaking. Start speaking. Start speaking it out loud in manifestation, but I'm hearing start speaking. So you guys are supposed to be a speaker. I need more on the channel messages. Oh God, there's so many guys. There's so many, you have so many ancestor spirit guys. They're just like, boom, 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 boom. The messages, the messages though. You guys have not been listening. You've not been listening. It should not take a tarot reader 15 minutes to be able to get to the freaking reading. It like, they shouldn't have been stopping me and this reading to tell you all this. Like you shouldn't, well, I mean, you shouldn't, you know, not everybody knows this. Plus, Plus, this is what we're here for. So, I mean, I'm not like pissed or anything, but I'm like, can we get to the date, please? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing spirit say, we can get to the date when you're ready. We'll get to romance when you're ready, pile three. You're not ready yet. Ooh, damn, they just called you out freaking sucks to be you. Although honestly, I secretly hope I would have chosen pile of three. So it technically it sucks to be me too. But listen though, here's the thing guys, this person really is madly in love with you, but you need to like get in alignment. So this whole third party, I'm actually hearing this third party is a blessing. Oh, it's a blessing. This person's a divine feminine or a divine masculine too. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to get you on target, to get you the sun. It's a blessing that you, literally the blessing card, you guys, you cannot make that shit up. It's a blessing to get you in commitment, long-term commitment. What it is, is it's a bridge of incidents. It's literally you manifesting your person, but them having to go through some sort of trial to get there. For most of us, it's a tower moment, you know? For me, my tower moments are, I don't know, getting ghosted mainly. Yeah, but your tower moment for your person, because you keep telling the universe, like, this is how they are. They're so gorgeous. They're so sexy. Oh my God, they're so divine. The universe is sending in tower, cataclysmic tower moments that are just blowing your person's mind. And it mainly has to do with the third party. They're getting illumination about a connection that they used to have in the past. I heard, I thought this was my key. I thought this was my ticket out. I thought that that was the one. Nah, it's you, pile three, duh. It's you, but you can't manifest this yet until, ooh, ooh. Oh, you're gonna, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good, it's gonna feel amazing. But you have to get into alignment first, you're not there. So guys, so weird. Spirit is telling me that what you could do is start channeling light code for yourself too. Hold on, what am I getting? I'm literally seeing someone record light code activations into their phone and replay it on loop subliminally overnight. Shut up right now. That is the craziest thing I've ever channeled. No shit. I gotta do that. I'm gonna try that. Spirit is showing me you do light code channeling. Maybe you do this for a career. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you could do this to help the collective, but you do it like subliminally. So it's like, if it's, say it's like, um, activating courage or activating finding your true counterpart or something it's subliminal it's subliminal and i'm hearing you're looping it at nighttime over and over and over on your phone or whatever and um it's light codes but it's from your own lips speaking of lips this person kissed you in a dream oh my god your person's telling me trust me i think about that all the time all the time okay I know I just channeled for almost 20 minutes, um, but I have to be honest. I don't know where the hell the 20 minutes went. Like I got so carried away in this message. Like spirit just like sent me somewhere. Well, I think to have it pretty much. I'm pretty sure heaven. However, I feel like I need to come back down to 
Grounding, dude, that's why, that's why. You guys need to ground it in the 3D, okay? So you guys are up there in the 5D, super cool, super fun, super fun, great times, great times. Um, but we have the number five here, higher font, like you guys are up in the 5D, amazing. Freaking epic, okay? Astral sex is where it's at, okay? However, your person would never say that. They, they, they just are so respectful. Oh, gosh, you guys, this person, I'm telling you right now, they're very humble and bashful. I heard bashful. When it comes to like, you know, intimacy, I feel like they very much keep that in private. Like, I'm not even gonna hate on anybody that like talks about that stuff out loud because I've been talking about it for the last two readings. Ace of Wands. Phallic energy. They very much like to keep it between you. This is a very sacred connection. Very sacred. And they are not about, they're, they're not the type to kiss and tell. That's for damn sure. They keep it under wraps is what I'm hearing. This is it. This is the one. This is, the, this is a twin flame. This is the most divine connection you've ever had in your life. This is the one. This is it. Um, but what am I getting? I mean, I, I, just tell me more spirit. I, there's more to channel. I need to channel before I can even get to the date part. This is going to be a very long reading. <sighs> My bladder is full. So I don't know if that's, I don't know what we're going to do there. But anyway, I love that I burped. And also I talked about my bladder in pile three and still you guys love me. I think this person is like, I'm just myself around pile three and they love me. They love me. I just heard um, John Legend's song. All your curves and all your edges. All your perfect imperfections. Give your all to me. Oh, my heart. This is definitely my favorite. I love it. Guys, this is probably my favorite reading I've ever given in my entire life. Listen, I hear the way you laugh. The laughter. The way you giggle. The way you laugh. It does something. It does something to this person. Like, I'm hearing their favorite vision in the entire world is to see you smile. Where did you guys find this one? Where did you find them? I'm in a field of dandelions. Something, something. Hoping on everyone that you'll be mine. Go listen to that song, Dandelions. I can't think who, I think Ruth B. I, I'm not sure, guys. I don't know who sings that. Go listen to Dandelions. Oh, this even looks like a dandelion really kind of in a weird way, you know? It does. I'm in a field of dandelions. This is the most divine connection you'll ever have in your entire life. Your smile does something. It melts me. It is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This is so, this, this love is the most pure thing I think I've ever channeled, ever. Well, other than last night's, you know, Holy Spirit debacle, I don't know what was going on there. Still don't, still don't. Uh, but I basically was saved. I feel like I came to Jesus last night. Like, no, no joke. No, like that's legit. Um... Basically, it was an exorcism. <laughs> Listen, um, you're just the same person. You and this person are the same. You look the same. You act the same. You're the same vibration. People are going to look at you two together. They're going to be like, are they, are they twins? Yeah, twin flames. But but you just you just look... Uh, you guys see that, right? Like, they look alike, right? They look alike. You see that, right? Yeah. You see that they look, like, the same, right? You could be totally different nationalities, ethnicities, and still, you guys look so much like it's insane in the membrane. And people are going to be looking at you, gawking at you, like, who, what is this? It is the most divine love I can feel the world has ever seen. Like, it is so pure. It is so pure. You are both star seeds. I heard both empaths. Both clairvoyant. You have all the clairs. Both of you have all the clairs. That's why I'm hearing when you finally figure out your life purpose, 
which I feel like you're already there. You're at the stage now, a phase where you're about to transition into something new. When you finally transition into something new, that's when this person comes back because you will then have this like, this is what my soul wants. And finally I will manifest it willingly. You guys met serendipitously. I don't think either of you manifested it. It was like an accident. This is going to be a deliberate manifestation on your behalf, on your part, but, but only once you've, you know, heard the call, mm -hmm, higher font. <gasps> Ooh, as a channel, honey, we got the son of God here. I've been preaching about Jesus for the last 23 minutes. We got the higher font and the son of God. This is literally, literally for me, the son and God. Just saying. And these are the only two cards you have on the table, which are the only two I'm probably going to ever throw because I just can channel so easily in your energy. It's amazing. I would love to work with you. If you guys want to check out all the information, I'd love to do a one-on-one -on -one with you. Um, anyway, Stuart, what else do we have? I keep hearing, be grateful, be grateful. You are going through a tower moment. I see this lightning here. Okay. Be grateful for this tower moment. This tower moment is getting you to what you want. The, the tower moment is getting them to where they need to be. And your tower moment is also coming in, okay? I said this is going to be the Empress again. I'm in a field of dandelions. Something that you be mine. Interesting. And there was a rose just there. Oh my God! Page of wands that looks like a dandelion tussing it. Oh, it's just too much. It's just too much. Okay, so spirit is making me transition into what you guys are gonna do when you're together because you guys, wow, the page of wands is a profit for me. BTW, you have the higher font and the, and the profit. Just saying, will you guys be preaching? Thank you, Jesus. This is your twin. So whatever you do, they're going to do. It's like, that's why you have to figure out your life purpose first. Oh, <gasps> dude, dude. Do you know how I said the queen of swords is a channel for me? Now you have the father of swords. Now you have the counterpart. This is so gorgeous. So magical. It's literally blowing my mind. So you guys are going to do the exact same thing. That's why you have to find your life purpose first on your own. This is too much, man. This looks like a dandelion, doesn't that? I'm in a field of dandelions. Two dandelions, you guys are the same. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm about to cry. I'm not kidding, I have tingles. I have shivers right now. I have like goosebumps on my face. I'm not kidding, I'm about to cry. I am, I'm about to cry. You two are the same. Oh my god, it's a dent. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so life changing. Okay, so that's what Spirit wanted me to talk about was what you two are gonna do. Because um if either of you are like worried that oh I'm gonna have to interact with like thousands of hundreds of thousands of people or whatever. Um, I'm not getting that so much. I'm getting like, it's just you two, but then like maybe a small soul family that you've got, you know, but it's not like, yeah, grief. It's not going to cause you grief is what I'm hearing. So it's something about what you two are going to do as empaths. Yeah. I'm seeing someone do Reiki on people, two people do Reiki for somebody, for somebody. Uh, that's your mission. That's your purpose. I don't know. See, I don't know. There's something about that's that. Yeah, yeah. I'm here and that's not my job. I can't tell you. That's what you have to do. Pile three. You have to determine what it's going to be. I mean, I guess if we do a one-on-one, -on -one, but this is a general collective message and I'm not going to, I can't possibly do that, but that's not my job. That's your job to figure out. And once you do, then you will know more about this divine counterpart because the divine counterpart is you. I just heard something very cool. Very cool. I heard that this person just admitted to themselves they are your 20 poo. Can I get one on that? Nine of cups. Girl, you cannot make that shit up. 
I feel, I feel as a channel, you just heard this person say, crown chakra, nine of cups, that you are my wish fulfillment and it happened telepathically. Again, definitely through channeling. You guys are so great at channeling. So this person definitely came through and they were like, listen, listen, pile three is my person. I know that that's my 20 poo. I know we're dusted in the heavens. We were created by the same source. Well, everybody was technically, but, but your person especially, I just heard they got it through their thick skull. I don't think I've ever done this before, but Spirit also, God, there's so many messages coming through for you guys. I friggin' love it. Oh, look at the, look at the, oh, look at the flower. This person's holding a flower, guys, a white flower. Something about flowers. This person gave you flowers or something. Okay, Spirit was telling me as well, you guys are doing some sort of truth spell or you can do a truth spell to make people like tell you truth. I don't know. I've never done this before. I don't think I ever have. Have I? But they are showing me that I watched a video. It was Witch of Wonderlust. You might want to go watch her. Type in Witch of Wonderlust on YouTube and then um, truth telling something, herbs or something. I can't remember, but she did like a whole spell, like a whole thing. She, she taught uh, people how to, how to do it. I feel like you need to get truth from this person. But like it'll be coming from their higher self and it'll be happening through you, through channeling. Yep, there it is. Eight of Cups because they've withdrawn their energy in the 3D tower. You can't make it up. Emotional loss and emotional uh, withdrawal. Exactly. Because they're going through a tower moment. I'm in a field of dandelions. Wishing on every... Uh, wishing on every one that you'd be mine. Oh, that's what you need to find out. Like, do they want you to be... Duh. Yes. The person, this, this person has been looking for you their entire life, their entire existence, their entire soul's history okay oh my heart something about the hands here this person's holding their hands this person's holding their hands and praying and this person's holding their hands it's something about hands like laying on of hands or you guys are going to do something together with hands i don't know hands okay hands but I am mainly getting this date was an astral thing and uh, it was super nice, super, super, super nice. And uh, they're like a witch like you, an empath, a psychic, whatever you call it. Definitely a star seed. This person is coming through as a star seed. Oh, I just heard, I just heard a sexy star seed. You're welcome. Guys, you want to manifest this person? Manifest your life purpose. Figure it out. And then this person will be coming back. Bada bing, bada boom. I love you. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this reading helped. If you would like a personal, I'd be honored to read for you. So totally check out the information down below. I love you guys. Go check out Patreon as well. We do uh, healing stuff over there. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading. You chose illumination. Ooh, why do I feel like I need to be like quiet and super mystical and like magical and... Did you guys talk? I think you talked about some really cool shit, okay? Like, I think you guys talked about, like, the occult. I think you talked about UFOs. Like, this went deep, okay? This went, this maybe even went too deep. I don't know. Um, <laughs> some of you are, like, mind blown. Okay, your date. Oh, my God, your date. Okay. What did they think of your date? Dude, they thought that it was the most intellectually stimulating conversation they've ever had in their entire motherfucking life. Secondly, they are sapiosexual which I think is the one where you fall in love with someone's mind before their body or something. That is so this person. I'm here. This person, I see in my mind's eye, they're looking at me as if I was you at the date. And, and this person's just like, their jaw is on the floor. How do you know so much? Wow, you know this too? You know this stuff too? Yeah, your person is literally coming through as like, oh shit. Oh shit, I just heard the illuminator. Oh shit, they know the truth, bae. This person's into the truth, the real truth. You know what I'm saying? The real truth that was tried to be hidden from religion. This person, you guys dealt with like, oh boy, let's just say the light bringer, the light bearer, oh shit.
Oh boy. Right when I thought my third eye couldn't expand anymore. I'm about to have a freaking mind explosion. These readings today. I'm just so happy they're all high vibrational. You know? I mean, most of them. I am. I'm grateful. But my God almighty, I'm going to go through an awakening after this. And you, after your date, went through an awakening. Okay? Massive awakening happening because you met the illuminator. Listen, I'm, okay, I'm going to describe your person, pile four. What spirit is showing me is loud, very loud, very loud, very proud. They know their shit. They know their shit. And they, it's like they met you and they were like, no, no. I'm hearing that if some of you think that this person tries competing with you or something, they think they think that it's all in the name of fun or something. It's totally giving me Aries vibes because Aries are very competitive in nature. Just very stubborn. This person's a very stubborn person, but it's because they know their shit, right? And then you came in and you know your shit too. <laughs> I'm hearing you may even know more than them. Like you know things deeper and more. You may even know more than them. Okay, so what I'm getting... Because I don't know that they're following their intuition much right now, but I do know that they know some things about some things. Do you hear what I'm saying? Okay. Um, I don't know, though. This is giving me weird vibes because, like, I don't know if you don't like this person anymore or, like, you're just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting a weird vibe, like, all of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, I'm on like, I'm, yeah, that's why I said it's, it's like we almost went too deep or something. Like, like, I think you learned something about what this person knows and it scares you to know more or something like that. Or like they don't have a filter. Yeah, is that what it is? Dude, if that train comes by, I swear to everything, I'm going to be pissed. That train, as most of you know, is a sign of black magic for me. And um, there's something about this person illuminated you to something going on. And I think, I don't know. Justice, yes. Wait, why is justice here? And here comes the motherfucking train. I literally just said black magic. I feel like this person getting karma for something. Karma. Karma? Literally the train is coming by. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Page of swords. This person watches you though. They're spying. I think you blocked this person. I do. I see it. I see it. I'm getting page. I see the page. Uh, ow. I just about poked my eye out. Um, because they're not using mm -mm. the good old noggin. The good old intuition. This person is spying on you. Wow. The moon secretly spying on you because they really need to. I just heard convince you of something. They need to convince you of something. And they're like wondering how they can convince you. You're the illuminator too. We have the 10 of pentacles. You don't like the way this person moves. They're doing something. They're doing something in the shadow, honey. Look at there you are, nine of wands, the illuminator, looking at the shadows around this person. And you're like, come on up here. Come on up. Let's go to heaven, right? Let's go to Nirvana, babe fucking ascend already ascend and they're just like i don't know they're just stuck or something you have two nines it's like nine of cups nine of wands right but like there's two moons here this one doesn't have any light around it do you see what i'm saying one is filled with light oh i just got a bible verse guys i don't know if this person's into the occult or like the bible or something but i just got a bible verse it was if 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 the eye is full of light, the whole, if the lamp is full of, what is it? Let me, let me Google it. Let's just say this person's third eye is not filled with light. Nope. Nope. That's it. That's it. And, and most of you, um, wow. You know what I just heard? I just heard you're a homemade psychic. You're a homemade psychic. You know, from experience what this looks like. 
This looks like, this looks like the illuminator turned bad. The light turned off is what it looks like here. Um, let's see, what is the Bible verse? The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. And then the light within you is darkness. How great is that darkness, guys? You saw something in this person. Look, the temperance card, that could be a Sagittarius. I'm getting the pineal gland. I'm seeing this as like the pineal gland. Father of Wands. I'm definitely getting a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Listen, they know some shit. Okay, I'm going to tell you that. They know some shit. Okay. The name could be Matthew. That's from the book of Matthew. I think it is. I don't know. I just Googled it. I keep seeing the word darkness. You're like, I'm not getting fucked. I'm not getting like, uh, nah, 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 nah. Nope, nope, nope. But the date itself went pleasingly well. The date itself was nice. Until you saw something quite dark. I don't know. Six of Wands. I'm hearing Prodigal Son. This person knows something. Things, okay, they are in deep. Guys, no joke. And there's the fucking train again. I heard into deep dark magic. You guys know I've been talking about this on my journey for a minute about um, who I thought was my twin. I, 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 I'm not sure. I think that this is my false twin. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't really know and I don't really care. Labels are stupid. But here's the thing. I talked about a very similar situation on my journey and you guys have seen it this whole time. And, uh, yikes. Yikes. Wow. Wow. You're going through it. Dude, you cannot make it up. Judgment. I'm not kidding. This person it is judgment day for your person. So the date went well swimmingly. <laughs> the date was great. Uh, everything else after that is scary. You're meeting. Not even one date. The whole meeting. The whole... It was an event is what I'm hearing. It, was, it took place over the course of weeks. Or days. You know, I don't know. But it, it took... It, it was multiple. Um, and I'm hearing, wow, that was great. No, that was great. Um, and, then, and then things went south. Illumination. What do they think of the date? Oh yeah, no, I'm hearing you're, you. The, the date was great. This person thinks everything about you is great. You're the one that's changed your mind. Justice, because they are getting some hella karma. Guys, I don't know what the fuck they did. They did something in a past life, or they did something in this life. Whatever the fuck it is, it is not good. It is not good to have justice and judgment right next to each other on the table, babe. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. nope. Thank you, Jesus. They are trying to protect you from this person. They are going through it. Ew. Ew. They're repulsive. Okay, listen. Um, I don't mean to be offensive, but like their energy is so repulsive. Look at the look at the butterfly and the dove. Both of them are ascending, right? Nine of swords. The eyeballs. I'm getting something with like, nah, it's too, you know, no, no, mm -mm, no, nope, nope. You're too pure. You're too holy. You're too divine. No, the answer is no. The answer is no. And spirit is pulling you away from this person because the answer is motherfucking no. Absolutely not. They might know some things, honey, but like a lot of people do. Doesn't mean they're following the light. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. I'm even getting they're spying on you too. They're spying. Guys, this person spies heavily on you. If some of you are worried, I'm hearing don't be. Your, your guys are, you, yeah, your spirit team has got this. How? Four of cups. They're calling a rat like they see it. You're, you're, you're aware this person's a rat. You're aware. But like the date went great. Everything was fine. Five of cups. Four to the five of cups. You're going to have a new option in love soon. Definitely. Definitely. Um, Taurus, Aries. You got, honey, you got options. Shit. Shit. Babe, 
babe, holy shit, holy shit. This person is getting wrecked because they know you have options and they screwed it. They screwed it up. The date was good, but everything, it went south after that. And they are watching you now about to go north with someone else. Okay. They went south and you went north. It is what it is. It is what it is. Five, stop it. That's what they're saying. After your date, they're like, wow, I literally like, left pile four, get away. What the f was I thinking? What the f was I thinking? Ignorance. Fucking ignorance. You guys, I, I, why am I getting loud though? Okay, I think I'm getting loud because I really love you, pile four. This is amazing energy. I love it. You guys are like really in tune with your shadow too is what I'm getting. So like I can be loud. I, I even hear your person, the one you came here probably to avoid by the way but somehow they're sabotaging the reading. Um, I even hear your person say, this was the only person I could have ever been loud with. I could have ever been myself with. This was the only person I could have said like everything I wanted to say because they knew shit too. And I screwed it up. Show did. Ignorance. I keep hearing you say ignorance. Like, like you're getting loud about it though, babe. I hear that's their karma. Their karma is you getting loud and rowdy. Ooh, I heard with somebody else. I heard you getting loud with somebody else. Oh, shit. Their karma is you getting loud with somebody else. <gasps> oh, I love it. Let's get some more on this new person coming in. I don't know if you went on a date with a new person. I don't know. I, I kind of think you guys are single right now. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, Queen of Cups. Like, you're ready, though. You're ready. You're ready to mingle. I think you're about to meet somebody else because you keep telling this person, no, like, there's my cup. You you wanted to fill it. It's still empty. Boy, bye. Boy, fucking bye. Right, right on top of the five of pence. You're like, you ghosted this person. But they knew some shit, though. I'm hearing I knew some shit. I knew some things about some things. And Pile 4 did, too, and I cannot believe I screwed this up. They call themselves an idiot, by the way. They, 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 they just, they really do not like themselves right now. Uh, King of Wands in reverse. You know how I said a second ago it was upright? Look at this. It's a serpent, guys. It really straight up is. It's esoteric knowledge. This person knows some things about some things. I'm hearing, I'm hearing I know it all, which is ignorant to even say. I think that's why you're like, you know what? No, no. Fools think they know it all. People who truly know it all are not out there boasting saying they know it all. You think this person's ignorant as fuck. And they are. They let you get away. So this king of wands is in reverse. I'm hearing you are their perfect person. You're, you are their perfect match. Perfect match. And they blew it. The world. That cycle is over. Over. Three of swords. I'm here and I have no tears left to cry. Oh God. Oh God. You guys have cried over this person. I heard you cried over them and you died over them. <gasps> wow. Pile four. I get it, babe. Totally get it. I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to look at all the information in the description and um, contact me, I'd love to go into this, who this new love is. You've raised your vibrations, your good karma, honey. Oh shit. Your good karma in dealing with this person. Are you kidding me? Dude, your good karma? Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So what I'm hearing right now is you are blocked in some way energetically. Could be financially, I'm not sure. Physically, health-wise, I'm not sure. There is a blockage. It's still from this. It needs to be resolved, but that that will like open the floodgates is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Exactly. It's energy that needs to be released. Look at this death relationships, girl. You cannot make that shit up. You cannot make that shit up. Once you fully, fully 100% surrender and this relationship completely and forgive them for what happened, that is going to remove a blockage. And I'm mainly getting a energetic blockage for you. There's an, and you can't make it up. Surrender right under it. Thank you, spirit. Listen, forgive them for they know not what they do. However, I strangely feel this person knew what they were doing. Uh, me thinks they knew all along what they were doing. However, their third eye was not as open as it was before. 
Um, so they were doing things that were super shady, super dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous. This person's a danger to society. They, yep, yep, yep. Spirit just told me they, knew too, they know too much and now they work for the dark. They are a fucking menace. <gasps> you cannot, you cannot, you guys. The Magician and the Ace of Wands. Literally, this is a magic wand and the Magician. I'm telling you, dark magic. I'm not even kidding. This person got messed up in some bad things. Some bad things. And you know it. It's the fall of an emperor is what I'm hearing. It could be an Aries in reverse here. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I think you're blocked with money right now. Also in love. It's like this card in reverse talks about like being not wanting to be single anymore. I don't think that they care much. I think they're sending something to block your money and your love. But it's, it's, it's like once you forgive them, though, that will release this. Sure, it's dark magic that you got away. This person's a magician, straight up. Straight up with the magic wand. And the fucking queen of wands under it. She's the witch. This person knows some things about some things. And now that they know everything and they're fighting for the dark. Nope. You're out. You're out of their life forever. For good. For good. For good. The lovers. You're the one that got away. Wow. Wow. The moon. The ten of wands. Because you're psychic and you knew. You felt it. You felt it from day one. Well, I mean, maybe not day one, but you eventually learned. This person dabbles, honey. They dabble in some things. And I know you know it. I know you know it. You've surrendered this connection. You're done. It's the fall of an empire. It's the fall of an emperor. It's the fall of an empire. I'm hearing that empire already fell. That empire already fell. And by you walking away, the only thing that's going to change is people are going to see how far this person has fallen. Fallen from grace. Dude, this is really biblical. I don't know why. I'm getting so much biblical things. So they might be like a preacher. Like they know a lot about the Bible or esoteric text or something. Holy text, the Quran, the Bible, something like that. Listen, listen, they know some shit, okay? They know some things. They dabbled. I just heard Aleister Crowley. I, I don't know. I don't know. But they're not working for the light. I mean, I'm not saying that. I don't know much about Aleister Crowley, but I did hear it. Ten of swords, the sun. This person is not headed towards the sun. They're not headed towards the light as it is right now. And they drain my energy. So spirit's pulling me out of it too, which I love. Thank you, God. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. That's what I'm hearing. How could I be so stupid? How could I be so stupid? You were the Page of Pentacles, which was a student, a student of magic. They loved this about you and they lied to themselves. They lied. They're ignorant. They're ignorant. They're not even using their intuition anymore. So the date was good. How they feel about the date? Like you were their match. Like they'd met their match and this person lived in so much fucking ego that they would rather lose you than admit that somebody might be better or like have more knowledge or like be more wise or something, whatever, you know, dude, dude, insane, insane. This person is cut in that the emperor in reverse is totally giving me Aries vibes. Like no offense to Aries. I'm an Aries, but it, it's like, we're, we're very competitive, extremely to a point where we have to really keep it in check. Otherwise, it's very egoic, right? Aries is the I am. So it's like it's, it could be overly selfish um, and dominant. And so this person, they're getting wrecked. They're getting handled. Oh, my God almighty. Do you know what I just asked? I was going to end it here. And then I said, let's throw a blessing card for you. Pile four, I just legit asked, spirit, I wonder if this will ever come back. Oh boy. Oh my God. They are showing me so much in this energy. You guys, you guys are, it's so insane what this connection is. I just saw you put the new in renewal, but then I took out the word new, real new, like a real new. This person is getting a real new. But by then, I don't know. I don't know. You guys will probably be with somebody else. Hidden talent. Let's see. What blessings are coming in for Pile 4? 
pleasant news. Psychic gift. Guys, totally. A hidden talent. A new psychic gift. <gasps> There's the word spying. Listen, this person freaking spies on you. And I think your spirit guides tell you something about they'll spy less once you make amends. Once you like, you can, you can really end this and like forgive them for what they've done. This person will stop spying on you so much because they'll be forced to. I don't know why. Don't ask me why, but they're going to be stopping. They're going to be stopping because you'll be so in joy and in happiness and stuff. An upgrade of new friends. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. If you want a personal with me, all the information is in the description. I know all too well what this is like. So contact me to one-on-one -on -one coaching and I'd love to help you with this goats me guys it's, it's about energy you need to release the energy you need to release this it's over i think that you need to tell yourself it's over because by the time you meet someone who is very much aligned with you even if this person changes it's like it's too too little too late by that point like it's it's it i think right now and as much as there is hope and i'm not even going to say there isn't hope there is hope i just think that somebody new is coming in and you guys i just you don't want to miss out on that okay all right, guys. I love you with all my heart. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.